Bye. All right. <laughs> this is totally normal. I mean, you know, it's farm life. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That'll be fun. And then that'll keep that up. Ta-da! Well, we are on our adventure. Here's cousin Amy. She's driving today and allowing me to put goats in the back of her vehicle. That won't be the first time. <laughs> so, um, basically, we have decided to get some more goats. I've been looking for a goat in milk. Many of you have seen that because I've posted it on Facebook. I've been posting in Facebook groups. And I found these goats uh, just a couple hours away from my house. I found them online. We have Gretchen Wieners, which is our Nigerian dwarf. Uh, we just have the one Nigerian dwarf. Otherwise, we have our La Manchas and Nubians. And we had planned a while ago to get more Ni Nigerian dwarfs. And that's what I decided I wanted to get uh, this time. And I'll explain more about that in a little while. But I wanted my plastics group from Mean Girls. So we he started with Gretchen Wieners. We were always intending on having more. So today we're going to pick up three does. Regina, Karen, and Caddy, and they actually have babies. And you know what? I think this is a great picture of our friendship. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what is life even if in the middle of a global crisis, you don't just pile up to go put a bunch of goats <laughs> in the back of your car and name them after early 2000s? <laughs> Chick flicks. They're missing out for sure. <laughs> They're so cute, guys. <laughs> We're trying to figure out how to successfully put these goats in the back of this Tahoe. <laughs> With no cage. <laughs> yeah. The bigger one goes to the black and white one, the bigger one goes to the Okay. Thank you so much. I promise that we have a good home. Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna smell like a goat in here. <laughs> Look at the babies. Oh my goodness. So I don't know which is which. I thought you had three little bucklings. No, there's one more baby in the back. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah. bigger. done for. Are they the cutest things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So <clears throat> we got three mamas with four babies and we actually got a weather too and um, eventually a couple of these boys are actually going to go to Amy's house uh, to be just kind of brush goats. They miss having goats and they've wanted to get some, but they don't want to be back into kidding and milk again. They just wanted to have a couple as pets. So a couple of these will go over to her house uh, of the boys. And this is the boy that we're gonna end up keeping uh, to be able to breed. His name is Glen Coco. <laughs> you go Glen Coco. <laughs> We've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> when there's a goat named Glen Coco, what else do you do but giggle? I gotta be smiling. <laughs> are you ready for how cute these babies are? They will have no effect on me. <laughs> Cuteness does not affect a Jedi. <laughs> you need to stop. Full speed! Hey guys, are y'all ready to see the cutest little baby goats ever? You ready, Ryan? Yeah. Be in our house? No, they're gonna be out with their mommies. Come on, I'm waiting. Look at the baby. Oh, that is so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think? What there? <laughs> oh, look at those babies. Aren't they hey, sweet? Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Can I see the, mom? The weather's so oh, kind of big. The, the, well, that's them. the boy. That's the weather. But these mommies are wanting their babies. Oh goodness, we're gonna have to get some spray back here. Yeah, there's one little baby. What do y'all think? Yeah, guys, you do Hi. Hi. Is this one even alive? Why did get the skull here? Okay. It would have been ideal to make more video of unloading these goats, but we had very overexcited children and overexcited dogs. It's all okay now. So let me introduce you to the newest members of Roots and Refuge Farm and tell you a little bit about why um, we made this decision right now when we did. So this is Caddy and her two baby boys. Um, 
They were born yesterday. <laughs> They're really cute. Hey, baby. Tiny one. Tiny one. And here we have Karen. And this is her baby. His name's Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. I really need some little baby goat antics in my life right now. Look at it. We're going to have to put a little playground out here for them. And over here, we've got a couple of lovely blue-eyed ladies. This is Regina. She wears pink on Wednesdays. And here is her daughter, Janice. Hi, Janice. Janice is adorable. Oh, there goes Janice. <laughs> so you may be wondering, while the rest of the world is out panic buying toilet paper, did just just panic buy a herd of tiny goats? And yes, yes, I think I did. <laughs> okay, so here's the logic behind this pur purchase, because there was logic behind it. Um, as you know, we got Gretchen Wieners about a year ago, and so we have had in our loose farm plan the idea of getting a small herd of Nigerian dwarfs. We wanted to get some small goats that the kids could handle um, and have them, really we wanted to just try them and see if they are a breed that we're interested in. Now, the majority of our goat herd is Nubians and La Manchas, and I'm actually gonna be doing a video soon talking about why we chose the goats that we chose overall. But Nigerian dwarfs are really popular options for people who are homesteading on small spaces. People who are doing suburban homesteads often can keep a couple of Nigerian dwarfs in their backyard because they don't require a lot of space. They're really small goats. And my thought was this right now. I really would like for our farm to be producing as much food as possible right now. Obviously, if we're gonna be staying at home, we're really gonna focus on sustainability. And we, if we can get our milk out of our yard, that's one less thing that we have to rely on the grocery store for. Uh, with three does in milk of Nigerian dwarfs, we can expect to get comfortably probably about a half gallon a day, um, just milking them in the morning. They, they give anywhere between a pint and a quart per milking, depending on how good milkers they are. I don't really know what these. We'll find out in the next couple weeks. And that is plenty to fill our needs as far as just regular milk use. Now, I probably won't have a ton of excess to make uh, a lot of cheese, maybe a little bit, but not just a ton. Now, my big goats are due to start kidding in about three to four months. We're gonna start having staggered kiddings. So we'll be covered up in milk then. The thing is, one of my big La Manchas can milk almost a gallon in a day. So they're gonna outproduce three of these goats put together. This is something that we thought this would be really fun. They're very small and the kids can handle them. And my mindset here is that this might be a really great project for our children. So this was something, honestly, right now, to add milk to our farm, just to bring joy. We're home, we're not going anywhere. Our travel has been canceled for like the next month and a half or so we're gonna be here. And so why not be milking every day? And also baby goats on the farm will definitely be something uh, that we'll find joy in. I know we'll be able to share some joy in that with you guys. So that's the logic behind it. That's why we went ahead and got into them. We had the space for them. Uh, they're not going to be like a lot of pressure on our property. We do have the space for these goats. Um, and also they don't eat a lot. So it's not going to be a lot on our regular feed bill. What do you think, Ryan? He's, he's uh, so cute. They are so cute. They're so cute. No. Do you like the goats? He's the he said I'm so cute. That goat said you're so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody does. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> does everybody think you're cute? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say hey, YouTube fans. <laughs> Will you blow him a kiss? <laughs> oh. Why are two words? Not even with them, they're so cute. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Look at those blue eyes. She's got blue eyes like her mama. Hey, Regina. Hey, Regina. 
Janice. Hello, darling. Oh my goodness, I cannot even with these babies. I feel pretty proud of my goat purchase. Uh, tomorrow we'll figure out a little milk stand because the one that I have is for standard size goats and it will be far too big for those girls. Um, right now, the babies, the three little babies are too small to be separate from their mom overnight, but the one bigger baby uh, can be. And so we're gonna figure out a milk stand and I'll probably start milking her ASAP. And yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Now I, uh, I gotta clean all the poop out of the back of my cousin's car. So I will talk to you guys later. I bless you until next time. <laughs>